I always want to outdo myself. Um, I always want to outdo everybody else around me. Um, I'm a very competitive person. I'm just quiet about it. I'm, I'm not really out there like talking about who I want to outdo. I'd rather just go and outdo it. You said you wanted to have $25 million by the time you're 25. You did that. Mm -hmm. you, now you say you want $250 million by the time you're 29. I mean, this is, uh, given the modest way you grew up, mm -hmm. what, what does money mean to you? Well, I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business business mindset to, you know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me, but when you start becoming a headlining touring act and, you know, brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot, it's, you know, you're capable of making it. And now I want to, you know, for sure, obviously keep touring, keep making music. But now I see that there's other ways, you know, this global ambassador thing, as far as maybe starting, I want to invent something. I want to start a company. I want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. Well, I why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it. I just, why? I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that, um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can. There's a certain, like, too niceness about you that I feel, uh, do you feel like that about yourself? Uh, or I'm, that the perception of you is I'm that? I'm just the people's champ, man. I just let the people talk for me. I don't really, I don't really um, get up here and just like, I don't have to tell you necessarily like all the things that I want you to know. I'd like for you to figure it out. I don't, I don't come up here with like a message or a motive, you know, I just right. like, I just put my everything into the music and I want the people to tell everybody that it's good, not me. I'm not trying to come up here and sell you on the fact that I'm the no, man. No, but you're a rapper. You're supposed to be yeah, a but I'm, I'm arrogant. Yeah, but I'm a new breed of rapper, you That's know? That's true. I am, I am. I'm, I'm like actually like a real person. I'm not like up here. I don't have to like wake up in the morning and like remember, all right, today I gotta remember to be this guy <laughs> or else someone's gonna catch on to the fact that I'm not really me, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just me, man. I get to be me. What was the response you get as a Canadian black Jewish rapper uh, trying to get attention in the US? I think that Details of my my like background kind of came afterwards. I think what caught first was the music. And I think what became almost more appealing was like, this is the guy that I remember those moments from people like, wait, wait, wait. This guy is this guy? Like people really, you know, drawing the, the connection. And I always say I wouldn't have it any other way, man, because I, I truly don't know if I'd be here if I didn't have so much to potentially overcome as pe some people may look at it. I mean, to you me- You don't I, look at it that way? Not really. Because, uh, you know, I'm from Toronto. I'm from a place where it's a true mosaic. You know, there's, we're, 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 we're to me, the most open-minded place you can possibly find yourself. So I don't ever look at it as that, you know, but there are other places that you go where it's just not so, it's it's not that simple, you know. Yeah, I, I, I never looked at it as overcoming anything. I was just like, man, I just gotta be a good rapper. But you know, to a lot of other people, they were like, wait, what, wait, 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 what? You're Canadian, you're Jewish, and you're half, you know, it's just like mind blowing things to them. Um, but like I said, yeah, I don't think that, you know, it, it wasn't like on my mixtape cover, it just said like the new Canadian half black Jewish. Like, I, I, it wasn't like advertised. <laughs> so people, had to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people had to go kind of find out about me. And I think when they did, it made the story even more interesting. I, I, like I said, I, I wouldn't want that to change. I always want to outdo myself. Um, I always want to outdo everybody else around me. Um, I'm a very competitive person. I'm just quiet about it. I'm, I'm not really out there like talking about who I want to outdo. I'd rather just go and outdo it. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to just sitting back and being like, oh, I, you know, I don't need to tell you who I'm better than or who I'm trying to be better than. I just want to put my music out and then you tell me who's who's better than, you know what I'm saying? I, I, le I, leave, it, I leave it up to the people, you know? Yeah. And, and um, as far as like, how do I, how do I get better? I, I push myself really hard. I mean, I have great opinions in the studio. Me, Forty, and Hush, we all sit in the studio and I don't I don't sacrifice like, oh, I try not to sacrifice any bar, you know? I mean, I'll sit there on, on the last two lines of a verse for three, four days if I need to, you know, just to figure out how to end it, you know? I want it to be cohesive. 
Um, I always want the beginning of a verse to be strong. I always want the end to be strong. And I really, really, really spend a lot of time on bars, man. You know, um, luckily for me, melodies come extremely easy, you know, knock on wood, like, but they, they do. I mean, I, 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 that is something that naturally, like I just get in there and it starts flowing and by, you know, 40 minutes in, an hour in, I have pretty much the direction that I'm going in. But when it comes to raps, I, I spend a lot of time on it, man. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, that's all off the top, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Like, nah, I spend a lot of time. Usually when I'm in my phone, you know, it's because right. you said something or you said something or someone said something that's prompted me to be like, oh, I got to write that down. It doesn't even have to rhyme, you know, right away. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a, a thought, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have to be a, a bar. It just can be like something you said. Like, even like, I think the last thing I wrote down was like, uh, someone last night was like, man, I feel like I've become a recluse. And I was like, man, recluse, that's such a great word. I love that <laughs> word. And I just write down, I write down like, use the word recluse, you know, right. somewhere. So if you hear recluse in a rap, it's because someone said it. Right? Someone said it. Right. So it's just like those, those type of things. I mean, I keep a constant notepad of just ideas, play by play. If you read through that notepad, you can really see where my mind is at, where my life is at. But no one is allowed to read through that. All I want to say is, what do I have to do or any artist in this room have to do to get noticed by you? That's a great question. I think I think that for anybody, what you have to understand is like, there's a, there's a way to exist in this world that's like, it, we've never had it before, but like, I strongly believe in the fact that if you have a good product, for the first time ever, there's a way to like, get the world to hear your product. And if it's good, you will see the results from it. You understand what I'm saying? Like there's people that, you know, artists will drop a mixtape and if that mixtape picks up, you know, whether it's like House of Balloons or Party Next Door, like he'll get like, I remember seeing when, when House of Balloons dropped, I remember people being like, yo, I'm in the Netherlands right now listening to House of Balloons. It's like, what? Like, you, you know, we have such a platform to access the entire world. Um, and my biggest thing to you, your question was, how do you, like, I guess, catch the attention? It's just about finding your own moment, you know, and, and, and having the music be great, as cliche as that sounds, but it's just like, man, you know, there's not a lot of great music to choose from. So when somebody is great, the world will let you know, trust me. It doesn't take me, it doesn't take this guy. The world will let you know. All you have to do is put it out there and there are people who scour the internet every day looking for the next big thing. And I promise you, if that product that you have is potent enough, you will be the next big thing.